So I was about to get started making a new video um, on the PCB uh, layout of the new switching regulator uh, lab that we're working on. What I wanted to do first though was to talk a little bit more about libraries. So this topic has came up more and more and I think some people are still having a bit of a tough time understanding what a library is, uh, where they are, and how do I make my own. So I want, I want to address that. So simply a library in any kind of a, a program that utilizes the library concept is just a location or container to hold different objects that you will use again later, not even just in the project that you're working on, but in any project down the road that you might be working on. And this way you don't have to redesign and remake these elements. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to be a little bit vague on purpose because we're here to talk about KiCad, KiCad libraries, but this could be easily the same definition for uh, C++ libraries or um, even in Illustrator, there's kind of a, a thing that kind of you can use with that. So it's this idea of storing the things that you need, that you've taken time to develop, to make, to build, to, to sketch up, storing those objects somewhere else in a common location so you can reuse them later and hopefully then the application can understand or, or have a spot for you to put in the location of said library files so it's easier for you to pull them up and bring them in. Okay, so hopefully that kind of makes sense. So now in KiCad, to kind of make things a little bit more complicated, they have the library files associated to at least two different things. These right here, you got your, your, your sketch, your, your symbol libraries, and you have your footprint libraries or library that's in each one of these. And that gets really, I think, confusing for people that are new to this and maybe even not so new. So what you need to remember is that the library for symbols, as in schematic symbols, is inside your schematic editor and the footprint libraries are held inside of your PCB editor. So to get at those, you have to open it up. So that's another concept in itself, is that this interface right here, this is the holder of your project. This right here shows you what's in the actual folder, bring this over here, the actual folder on your computer. So this one currently is this regulator circuit right here. So these files here are in there. Okay, we've talked about this in previous videos. Now, if I were to open one of these up, you open up this file. So it's kind of like your computer, but it's not your computer. So if you open up a file, this is just, you know, a, you know, your browser in your computer here. If I were to open this up, it would try to find an application to open this program. Move that out of the way. If I open this inside of KiCad, it knows to open it up with a schema editor. That is the schematic editor software, okay? I know this is kind of weird and confusing, but in open source land and collaborative design, it kind of works this way, that we double click this and you see up here, this is a schema. So in a way, in not such a way, we just open up another piece of software and then we close it down and we're done, okay? So maybe that might m help make it uh, make a little bit more sense on why these library locations are not in one main global window. They're in each one of these programs separately. So if I, again, if I open up the PCB editor, this is a different piece of software called PCB New and those libraries are held inside here, okay? Close that. Next, when I say held, held in here, I'm talking about that, let's go ahead here, we'll go to uh, schematic editor. What I'm talking about is if I were to go say, let's browse the symbol libraries. So I hit this and I can scroll through this whole list. I can see all the different things that are in here. Now these right here, these are different 
uh, locations, maybe folders or what have you, that inside of those have their own footprints uh, in, in this location in your computer somewhere. This one up here, plus sign library, is one that I, we made in a previous exercise, and it currently holds one item, okay? So this is how we're seeing it here. So we're kind of, it, we're kind of uh, looking at it through, again, the, the KiCad interface. If you were to see this in your computer, bring this back over here, here's my KiCad projects. So I'm not in the regulator lab, I'm in KiCad projects. I've made a folder directory somewhere else in my system, be it on my computer or a memory stick or whatever. In a previous video, I recommend putting it on a memory stick because then you can always have it with you. I made this folder called libraries. Inside of that folder are maybe several different libraries. Okay, so understand this, this folder is not a library. It's just a folder named library, Liz's, right? And down in here, this one that says plus sign dot lib, this is the library that we're looking at over here. Now, inside of this, inside of this document is this single device right here because we've only added one component into this library. Weird, I know, if you're not used to this kind of thing. If I were to open this up and look inside, well, it's not a picture, it's not a photograph. What do you open it up with? Well, in here, I'm gonna open it up with, again, this is Linux, so if you're not familiar with that, just bear with. This is a text editor. So open it up with this, and here's what you find inside. The only thing you're finding inside is some, some coordinate information here, but you can see reg, uh, 3.3 volt 1117, right? This right here. So that's it. If I had more uh, symbols in this, more uh, devices in this library, they would all be in this text file. This is probably further than most of you wanted to go, but I just wanted to, to kind of show you that because it's going to be kind of different in a second. So I'll move this again out of the way. This is again the library um, holder, you know, um, uh, title, I guess, here, and then it'll show you what's inside. You will not find these loose in your computer anywhere. They're absorbed inside of that .lib file on your computer. Okay, now I'll close this, close this. Now if, if I open up the PCB editor, again, keep in mind, different program, probably written by different developers, different people, different day. So they did things maybe a little bit different. And this is kind of a thing, again, in the open source world. You got to get kind of used to this. Manage footprint libraries. Actually, let's go the browse again. We'll, we'll say open footprint viewer. And then over here, I've got a bunch of items. Here's plus sign libraries again. This is not the same library. More dots I need to try to connect. When we created these libraries to begin with, we named them in KiCad. Now, I'm not talking about over here. I'm not talking about in my computer necessarily. I'm talking about in KiCad when it said, let's put this in a library somewhere. We named the library plus sign libraries. And we did it the same in both PCB new and the schematic editor, so it would be common to us, okay? Now, on your computer, again, it's going to be all over the place and totally different. If I click plus sign libraries, by the way, we made it a plus sign so it would alphabetize, so we go to the top of the list and we didn't have to scroll through here to find it. In this library here, we've got two devices. Now, here's that 3.3 3 .3 volt regulator again, but this is the footprint, so now you're gonna see the PCB footprint, and then here's the resistor footprint that we'd made, okay? Now, if I come over here, you might be expecting another .lib file, but you don't. You, you have a .keycad underscore mod file, and these are the individual components, you see? So, sorry, I didn't make this, but this is how it works. In the schematic editor, all of your symbols are held in a .lib file. In the PCB editor, each individual component 
is stored in, as its own element, as its, its own file. Okay, so how did this all come about? How did we get this all set up? Well, it kind of starts with, uh, let's close this and go back to here. I want to make a new symbol. So you might go create, edit, and make a symbol. And then it will say, which library do you want to store this in? Well, there's that plus library again. So we'll put it in there. But wait, we got to back up more. Where did this come from? Okay, so we come over here and we can say create a new library. And when you open this up, do you see what's happening right here? It says, here's the location in your computer where you're currently at. And you're going to make a new .lib file. Remember, this is the one that holds all of the schematic symbols that you want it to in one single file. So I come back here and I say, no, put it in my KiCad project folder in this libraries folder. See, there's plus sign library. And then I give it a new name, give it a new name. And now I have two LIB files inside of the, the, the folder I showed you a second ago on your physical computer, physically on your computer. Okay. Hopefully that is making some sense. Now, why would you have multiple LIB files. Why wouldn't you just store them all in the same one? In the previous video, uh, one of the videos back there talking about this is the big long hour and a half one. We, we ran over the top of it. Uh, you could make one single library, plus sign libraries right here, and store everything you make inside of there. But as time goes on and you start to make more and more symbols, you, like any organizational scheme, might find that having all of your loose elements in one library might become kind of hard to find, as in you're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling through the list of things, not the libraries here, but the items in your library. You know, you got 27 different, you know, three volt regulators. You've got, you know, 100 different types of, you know, resistors or something. So what you might do is make a new library and call it resistors. Probably not, but maybe something like passives. And another one you might call power for power regulation and so on and so forth. Another one may be called ICs. You see what I'm saying here? So that's how you create the library for the schematic editor. Okay, we haven't got to the PCB one yet. So that's how you do that. You, you make it, it, you say add a new library, you tell it where you want to store it. Again, don't store your library file in your current document in the project you're working on, store it somewhere where all of your projects can get at it, like on a memory stick or somewhere on a computer laptop that you know you're always gonna be working on. Because these things are in a location somewhere outside of your project, if you don't, if you're not working on a computer that has access to those libraries, you won't be able to utilize them, okay? Now, um, I guess one more piece to belabor that a bit more is if you work at an organization where this is where you're doing your job, then hey, it makes really great sense to make maybe even a company library and put it up on a server in a shared mapped drive and have everybody in the place be able to get at that library. And then you can do nice things like have, you know, read write control for it, you know, so that only maybe leads or certain admins can have the right to actually make and add new things into it. It'd have to go through some kind of, you know, process before you add those in. Okay, good. That's going to be it for the schematic libraries, schematic editor libraries. Now, to make a new PCB library, open up your PCB editor, and you might think you would go kind of like there, because that looks familiar. Let's go there, and here's libraries, and hey, that looks kind of familiar. That should be add a, nope, it's not. It's select library to browse. So this is not how you're going to make a new library in PCB editor. What you have to do here is tell it the path to the folder in your computer where you're storing all of your individual, the individual, not libraries, individual uh, footprints. So you go to preferences and you say manage footprint libraries. And then you get this totally different concept than what we were doing in the schematic editor. Now, these are all the default ones. And as a matter of fact, I think a lot of these are old, but you scroll way down here to the bottom 
And then what you do, here's the ones that we've added before. We created, appended library, uh, named it plus sign libraries, and then right here, you give it the path to the folder, the libraries folder in my KiCad projects that you're gonna store all of your footprints. Side note, if you don't know what a path statement is, figure that out. Find out how to understand where something is stored in your computer. In Windows, it's gonna be something like C colon backslash, you know, projects backslash something something, something like that, right? If you're gonna put it on a memory stick, maybe it's your E drive, it'll be E colon backslash uh, blah, 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 keycad slash libraries, maybe something like that, okay? Now, to add in a new library, you could come over here and you could just say append library, and then you could type the name in here and then write in the path statement to where you're going to store this, this particular set of footprint library files. Uh, what I mean by that is kind of the same thing as what I said in the symbols library. If you want to have multiple libraries of your own separated by kind of the type of device, then you'd have multiple different library entries here in this spreadsheet, okay? Now, a, a little bit of kind of an, an addendum to this, I guess, is that you look through all of this and you'll see that they name them .pretty. The .pretty files is just their name of saying it's a folder that's storing the footprints. You don't need to put it on there. If you want to stick with the common nomenclature, you can, but it's not a single, uh, like a .lib file. You'll actually find a folder in your computer called varister.pretty, and inside of that will be all of the different varister footprints. So for example, here is my KiCad, the local uh, KiCad directory in your computer. When you do the install, it goes in there. Here is the default library folder. Inside of that, just loosely, by the way, is here's all of your LIB files and the DCM files. The DCM files have descriptions and things for the library. You see how the names match? It seems kind of analogous to me to kind of like a, well, a library file and a header file, okay? Now, if you look in your KiCad symbols master or your footprints master, over here is the pretty files, you see? Uh, connector dot pretty, uh, capacitor uh, through hole dot pretty. So if I open this up, inside of that, you're gonna find all of the different dot KiCad mod files, which are the individual uh, footprints themselves. So then back to this over here, if you wanted to write it in by hand, you can do that. Uh, and then by the way, if you wanna get rid of it, we'll just say remove library. If you wanna make it a little bit easier and less likely to screw up by typing, you know, wrong forward or backslashes, hit browse libraries, and then you're gonna scroll through here, scroll through your system, find the library folder that you created beforehand, right? So that's a part that maybe I left out. You want to go somewhere in your computer, probably again in this libraries folder that you created on a memory stick or wherever, and put in however many folders you want to store your various different footprints that you're gonna create. Again, just like the symbols library, probably if you just store, if you just have one folder, your libraries folder where you keep everything right now, it's probably fine. But if you find yourself making lots and lots of footprints that are going to be, say, you know, a whole bunch of different regulators, a whole bunch of different, you know, chippies or whatever you want, make a folder for each one and have separate library entries in there, okay? So we'll just pick this libraries folder right here inside my KiCad projects, hit OK, and it just adds the line in. So, you know, you're not going to mess it up. Now, right here in the front, it just gives you the name of the folder, so you could change this, you could, you could edit this, and, you know, make it whatever you want. Okay, so that is really all there is there. I was thinking maybe one more thing here to remember. When you're going in here and you're making a new footprint, you've got to make sure that you select the active library, and there'll be another button for this also in the schematic editor. If you don't select the active library, well, if you're inadvertently selecting the wrong library, then you're gonna be storing all of your files, all of your footprint or your symbols in a different library. And then it's gonna be a hell of a tough time trying to figure out where those are at. So you come in here, 
you say we're gonna make a new footprint, you're gonna see this in the next video, the next one where I do the layout of this. We're gonna make a footprint for something, and then when we go to save it, you're gonna make sure, or before or somewhere along the way, you're gonna select the active library, and then you could save it, give it the name, okay? So that's it. That's all I wanted to mention here. Um, hell of a lot longer than I thought that was gonna be. But anyways, practice that. You can always make some, and then you could delete them, okay? Thanks.